Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and what I wanted to show you in this video is a situation that happens uh, in the products and services set up in QuickBooks Online. Uh, this was actually a question from one of the members of the QuickBooks University, so this was a, a great question. So this was her question was, hey, I've got cost of goods sold on my profit and loss, and it's showing up as negative, okay? So why is that? Okay, and then how do I fix it? All right, so here's why basically this is showing up as negative. If I click on this detail, okay, you're gonna see that there was a bill where an expense where they had to pay shipping and it was $75. And then there was also an invoice they sent to a customer uh, where they charged for shipping and it was 150. Okay, so it nets out to negative $75. Okay, so when it shows up, on your profit and loss, it looks a little bit funny because you have a negative cost of goods sold, okay? So this all happens in the products and services list. All right, so let's go over to the products and services list, all right? And in this case, they had set up a shipping service, an item uh, that they bill their customers for. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And this is pretty common. You, you pass along some of these shipping charges to your customer. Okay, but it, it all depends on the setup of where it's going to go on that profit and loss. So here's what they did in this situation is, uh, and happens all the time, for the sales information that they're going to put on the invoices, they are pointing this to the cost of goods sold account. Okay. And in the purchasing information, they are also pointing it to the cost of goods sold account, okay? So what happens is when they bill for it, it goes to an expense account. So it's gonna make it negative because they're getting uh, essentially income and income is a, you can think about it as a negative expense. And when they, you know, when they pay for the shipping, they're also putting it to the same cost of goods sold account, all right? So this is what results in the negative expense. So if they have billed their customers more than what they've paid their vendors for shipping, you're gonna have a negative expense, all right? So one way to change this, uh, to fix this, is instead of pointing an expense, uh, you generally don't wanna point an ex uh, uh, something you bill for to an expense account, okay? So instead, we want to change this and we have an income account set up for shipping income. Okay. So now when you bill your customer for shipping, it's going to go to an income account. And when you pay for the shipping to a vendor, it's going to go to the cost of goods sold. This way on your profit and loss, you'll be able to see uh, the amount that you've billed customers for, for shipping and the amount you've paid your vendors for shipping, and it's gonna be in two separate line items, all right? So that is why that happens, and this is how you generally wanna set up a service that you bill for and you pay for separately in separate income and separate expense accounts, all right? Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions whatsoever, head on over to the QuickBooks University where uh, just like this example, it, it was a member question, and I answer these questions for you, and uh, uh, we have some great training tutorials over there on QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. But head on over, qbuniversity.org, and I look forward to seeing you over there.